Hello, this is Austin Braun from Funtime Campers, giving you a quick walkthrough, uh, fairly informal, um, on the KZ Sportsman. Uh, it's a 260BHSE, made by KZ. Um, just do a quick walkthrough, kind of identify some things, point out some features. Um, it does come with two 20 pound tanks, um, has the battery disconnect already built in here on the A-frame. Uh, it does come with uh, the uh, deep cycle marine battery um, included here at fun time. Um, so you've got the diamond plate uh, kick plate here for behind the vehicle, a little more rugged. If anything gets kicked up behind the tow vehicle. Let's see, it is Furion Solar Charge ready. Um, it's all pre wired for uh, solar panels if you ever decide to add any down the road you do have the option to add those wired in directly to your uh, your 12 volt system you've got the pass-through storage here you've got another entry door uh, just like this one on the other side there pass through you've got your crank handle for your jacks um, goes all the way across here so you've got your winterization kit on there um, goes directly to your water pump uh, and all your uh, baggage doors are uh, held up by magnets, so they don't have those plastic clips to deal with. Nice feature, you've got the awning here. There's electric 12 volt awning. Um, it does have the LED lights underneath uh, that light up the full length of the awning there. Uh, down below here you've got four stabilizer jacks. Two on each side in the front and then two on each side in the back. Uh, it's nicer the scissor jacks rather than the uh, just the stabilizer jacks. You've got your leash latch, uh, it's a new uh, feature by KZ. Um, you can put a dog's leash around here, but it also has a can opener, a bottle opener down there on the bottom. You've got a uh, 110 outlet down here, tandem axle. You've got another storage compartment here underneath your bunk beds on the inside. See here in the very back of the unit, each bunk bed has their own window. Uh, makes it nice, everybody gets some, some light there in the bunk beds. It is pre-wired for your Furion uh, charge or your Furion camera system, um, so you can add those uh, if you'd like. It's already pre-wired. Sorry if you get a lot of traffic feedback here. We're pretty close to the road. Spare tire included. You've got your six-gallon uh, gas electric water heater. Um, it is electronic ignition if you light it on propane, um, but also has the option for uh, electric heat, cable hookup stabilizer jacks on the, on this side here got your black tank and your gray tank sewer connection here got your main power input it is 30 amp standard uh, any campground should offer so you've got the back of your refrigerator here you've got the vent over your stove um, to actually vent outside you've got your furnace exhaust tires and wheels Coming up towards the front of the unit here again, you've got your city water connection and your fresh water connection. The other side of your uh, baggage door. Got your uh, vent information on this one. It's a brand new 2020 unit. And we'll head inside. Got your screen door here. This particular unit weighs 4,800 pounds unloaded vehicle weight. It has a cargo carrying capacity of 2,200 pounds, which is a lot of stuff. All right, coming in the main entry door here. You've got the queen bed in the very front there. Couch and cabinets. Kitchen directly across from the, uh, the entry door here. Dinette. Do a quick scan. You've got your bunk beds towards the back there. Uh, you've got plenty of room. Like I said, each one has their own light. Um, you've got a uh, 110 outlet there next to the light on the bottom bunk. Um, you've got your own window on each end. It's kind of dark down here, but you do have a cubby hole for some extra storage. Great place to put, you know, shoes and duffel bags and suitcases. Um, here at the end of your dinette, you do have your TV backer location. Um, then you've got your outlet up there. You've got your cable hookup, and then you do have your um, RCA cables for your um, stereo and radio on board. So you've got your bathroom. You've got storage underneath your cabinets. Hot and cold water, of course. A little bit of storage there. A little bit of storage there. So you've got your foot flush toilet. You do have the shower with the uh, tub surround on it. Got some hooks up here for towels. 
Um, your air conditioner is ducted on this unit. Um, so the unit itself is in the middle. You can open up your vents and get air blowing directly down if everybody's hanging out here in the living area. Or you can close the vents off and then they do come through um, the duct system, which you can see here. So it kind of push it out to the ends of the trailer uh, a little bit more efficiently. So you've got your refrigerator, your uh, seven cubic foot Norcold brand. So you've got your microwave up here, standard RV microwave. So you've got your glass top here, so nice flush. When you don't need to use the stove, gives you some nice counter space. Three burner stove. Um, does light up here. And you've got your oven down below. You've got your high rise metal faucet, stainless steel sink, and a nice long window. Um, let in lots of light here around your kitchen area. Uh, you've got your dinette. Of course, it does fold down to an additional sleeping space. Again, a nice big window there to look underneath your awning. Um, you've got your sofa here, and it is a jackknife sofa, so that'll fold down very easily to make uh, an additional bed. And then you do have some storage down here in the very bottom, and it does fold down there, give you easy access to all that storage down here. All that up there. That's a little feature, but you do have the uh, little armrest cup holder deal that folds down there. Got your Furion sound bar. Um, it does have HDMI and USB inputs. You do have inside and outside speaker control. Some additional storage. You can hear in the uh, kitchen again, great place for a trash can here. You got three full extension drawers with the ball bearing drawer guides. You've got your thermostat for your heat and your air. You've got your uh, control panel here for your water heater, your awning, your, uh, your lights, um, all in one nice area there. So you've got your queen size bed here with the uh, actual slider door to close off the bedroom rather than just a uh, accordion door or a curtain. So you've got your ducted furnace vents all through the floor there. You've got another TV hookup in the, in the uh, bedroom there. It is pre-wired for Wi-Fi. Um, so if you decide you'd like to add a Wi-Fi booster, um, it is um, all pre-wired for uh, the King system. So you've got outlets on both sides of the bed. Um, you have USB charging ports up at the head of each side. You've got a nightstand with storage inside. And you've got cabinet storage all across the top here. So that is a quick walkthrough of the KZ Sportsman 260BHSE. Please uh, comment below if you have any questions or feel free to reach out to us here at Funtime Campers. Um, you can check out the rest of our inventory at www.funtimecampers.com. Um, feel free to reach out if there's anything we can do. Thanks.